Hey everybody, this is Trump coming your way. I made a promise, you know, that I was gonna start, you know, putting more videos up on my uh on my page, you know, up on my YouTube channel. You know, this is part of it. Um the the series that I was working on is like the reasons why I actually uh start carrying a gun. You know, my uh, my father, I told you guys the last two videos about my father and grandfather who actually uh you know, asked me to start carrying it because they were concerned with uh, with me uh, getting hurt and killed up in Camden and all that. Um, today, I want to talk. You know, go even further back and uh, when after I got out of college or after you know, like when I used to come home from spring break. Today, I want to talk to you about uh, basically a high school. Well, actually, junior high school. I'll take you guys all the way back to junior high school. I moved to Camden when I was about 12 years old uh, from West Philadelphia, Overbrook. And uh, I used to live at like 61st, around 61st and Lance now. So basically, uh, I grew up in, in West Philly. Uh, my father moved us over to Camden because he was a correction officer. He just didn't want us to be, you know, in that, you know, the whole, oh, your dad's a cop thing and all that kind of stuff. Well, you know, but uh, so he, he moved us to Camden. At that time, Camden was uh, pretty safe. It was, it was nice. It was actually pretty nice, you know. It wasn't as nice as where we lived at in West Philly. But it was pretty nice. When we moved, we moved on Morgan Boulevard. It was pretty nice. Had some real good neighbors and everything. And uh, so what happened was my first incident was somebody actually pulled a gun. I saw a gun. It was in junior high school. You know, I, I went to Morgan Village Middle School in uh, in Camden. And uh, basically, you know, there was there was two factions. I guess you could say. It was uh, from one was from Cedarville, and the other one was from the part of Camden they called Black Fairview. Because back then. Can was very segregated, so it was black and white Fairview. So uh, basically, Centerville and Black Fair Fairview used to get into a lot of fights, a lot of fights, you know. And we all went to the same uh, the same middle school. So one day I was coming out. I think it was at lunchtime. I'm not sure. It's so long ago. I was coming out at lunchtime, you know, talking with other guys and stuff in the back, uh, back in Morgan, Morgan Village, and. Basically, somebody produced a gun. It was like now, you know, looking back, it was either a Davis Industry, a little cheap uh, 32, or I doubt if it was a 380. It's probably a 32, you know, trying to, you know, just run through my mind and remember. But a 32, somebody pulled one out. I was showing it everybody, you know, and this guy was from Cinderville. I don't know why Black Fairy, you like to fight with, uh, with Centerville, because Centerville was no joke. I mean, I remember in junior high school, they used to come by in state body trucks. I mean, a, a whole state body truck full of guys to come fight with you. And, and Black Ferry was so small, and it, was, it wasn't enough of them to get, you know, in that battle. You know, I don't know why they even would get involved with something like that. But they did, you know, unfortunately, and they, they lost a lot. I mean, the guys from Black Fury, they can fight a lot. But anyway, that was my first incident of actually seeing a gun. It was actually in junior high school. I was in the sixth grade, 12 years old. So gun violence was, you know, or or the threat of gun violence was around a lot back then. And then in in, in high school, I went to Camden High School. And in the 80s, uh, I was walking to, well, the first incident at Camden High School that I saw something, a gun, somebody actually get robbed at lunchtime. Uh, we were at the back of Camden High School, and a guy I know named Howard, I ain't going to say his last name, he had some nice uh, glasses. He had, uh, I don't know if they call it Alpinas or something like that, you know. Um, and another guy comes walking up from the street. Guy I actually knew, I, I, you know, I'm not going to say his name, but he didn't have nothing to do with the robbery, but the friend that he was with actually put a gun and pull, pulled a forty five and put it to Howard's head. And, um, yeah, I saw that. I was like, man, you know, he put it to his head and then just grabbed his glasses and walked off. He didn't even run. He just walked off because he had a 45. What else? You know, then the other time, the next time I had experience with a gun was when I actually, um, was going to Cabin High School football practice you know we had camps in the summertime you know morning camps and afternoon camps and I was on my way for the morning camp and I had my little radio you know was playing Dougie Fresh on my little radio walking up you know the show da -da 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 you know you know what it is <laughs> Molly <laughs> you know all that I forgot the name now, Sally from the valley you know I was playing that rocking it and I was just walking up to the school 
And uh guy was sitting on the ledge and I saw him, he looked drunk. He was, you know, swaying back and forth, back and forth. And his eyes was red, man. They were bloodshot red. So I said, this dude's high or been drinking, so I ain't say nothing to him. You know, so uh then I get past, he said, What's up, big boy? You don't remember me? And I look back at him, and it was actually a guy I went to high school with. Not high school, junior high school with. You know, we was cool in high school, but he was so high, I didn't even recognize him. He looked so bad, I didn't even recognize him, man. And then, dude pulled a, a 45 out on me. He put it straight to my stomach, like, oh, you don't, you can't speak, can't talk to nobody no more. I said, oh, yo, man, I remember you. We went to Morgan Village together, man. How you been? He said, oh, I'm cool, man. It's all good. It's all good. Just keep going. You know, I, I ain't mean to do all that. You know, so I, I kept walking. I shook his hand. I kept walking. And I went to football practice. I told the coaches, yo, dude, just pull a gun on me in front of the school. You know? And, uh... And, you know, they couldn't do nothing. They, you know, they coaches, you know, they called the police, whatever, you know, but they didn't call the police. So I just went to practice that whole day. And um, then after that in high school, I remember coming home from football practice. We, Our football field, our football practice field was all oh, about, whew, about a good six blocks from, uh, from our high school. So we had, used to have to walk six blocks through the park. In the park, you know, they had at one time they had problems with drugs and stuff like that, but uh, it was no big deal for us because we were in a group, about 100 and something of us walking through or more because, yeah, varsity about 55 and JV and freshmen. So you're talking about about 155 kids, you know, ain't no big practice let out. It's 155 of us walking in the woods through the park. No problem, right? So what happened was we went, um, a guy that I knew, and grew up with, somebody broke into his car. He had just got out of the army, and they broke into his car, and actually, they caught the dude breaking into his car, and they whooped this dude's butt. This thief, yo, they beat him so bad. Now, I didn't see the fight. I didn't see what happened. I was in the locker room by the time, you know, I heard everything. But, the guy who they beat up came back with his friends with a gun. That's right. While we're sitting in, you know, I'm sitting in the A building of, uh, you know, Canada High, I don't know, maybe five or six different buildings. It was that big. The school had, at that time, prior to three to 4,000 students. Um, but I actually was sitting, I had to stay at practice late at night because the guy, they were outside waiting for him with a gun. So we had to stay in the A building lobby until the police got there and took care of everything. So, you know, again, those are more, more of the reasons why, more of the stories why my father and my grandfather pretty much encouraged me to start carrying a gun illegally in New Jersey. Again, you know, I pray that God be with you. God bless you, you know, and I pray that he keeps you and um, blesses your family. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Peace. This is Truck. Peace. Deuce. Out.